So we're told that uh, a ball is dropped from a height of h feet. So let's say this is the ground. And um, after the first bounce, uh, it reaches a height that is two-thirds of the height from which it previously fell. So that height is going to be two-thirds h. So that's the first bounce. Then we have the second bounce. It's going to go again two-thirds of that height. So it's going to be two-third of two-third h. And then this is the third bounce. I'm actually just going to list them all out because there aren't that many. Fourth, fifth, because the question is asking, what's the total number of feet the ball travels between the first and the sixth bounce? So this is the sixth. So again, this height is, we'll get cube because we already have two, two, thirds, this would be two-third square h, two-third h, here would be two-third to the power of fourth, and two-third to the power of fifth. That's just the height. Now the distance traveled would be twice this height, because it goes up, then goes down. So it would be twice that, so twice two-third h, plus twice two-third square h, plus twice two-third cube h, plus all the way to two-third to the fifth h. So that's what we're looking for. Uh, we just have to write in the summation notation. We notice we can just take out two h outside and notice that the two-third power goes from one, two, three, four, five. So to the power of i, summation where i goes from one to five. And this is the same as answer choice a.